So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor. Spread your toes out, no gripping. Shoulders back and down, round toward the ceiling. Get your core activated, so ribs toward your spine and up. And shoulders down away from your ears. Take a moment to close your eyes and breathe. Focus inward. Exhale, tension. And just allow your awareness to stay on your yoga frame of reference, noticing what your body is telling you today. Inhale, arms to shoulder level, stretch out through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, keep those shoulders down. Hands to the front, keeping shoulders still down. And then bring your hands behind you, just gently clasp the fingers and lift your heart. Spread your toes out and stretch. Exhale, pivot at your hips, come on over. <clears throat> hands toward the ceiling. Boom, head toward your legs. Circle your chin around a little bit. Get that neck released. And then slightly bend your knees. Start at the bottom of your spine. Unwind from the bottom all the way back to the top. Coming all the way up and again, upper body back, bend with the chest lifted and the head slightly back, but don't crunch your neck. Spread your toes, no gripping. And then inhale to the top, exhale, release your arms. Take a moment feeling your spine getting a little warmer. And once again, arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and exhale, clasp your hands the other way. So shift the fingers one position over and lift your heart, stretching into the back bend and then pivot over as you exhale. And again, as you come all the way down, just breathe and relax, lift the sitting bones and straighten the legs a little bit more maybe. Kneecaps up toward your thighs, tighten the front of your thighs, let the back of your legs stretch. And again, chin slightly in as you bend your knees slightly in line all the way from the bottom of the spine to the top. And again, lifting into the back bend with your heart. Spread your toes, drop your shoulders, stretch your head back. And then inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment noticing again how your body responds today. Side stretch next, so focus on those ribs, and we'll do our lateral spine motion. So arms to shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Go ahead and clasp your hands, and bring the arms back by your ears. Stretch up, and exhale to the side. Make sure you're not leaning forward. Push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra rib opening. And kind of either look to the front or maybe up toward your arm to make sure that everything is just straight to the front. Spread your toes, lengthen through the head, and then inhale back up to keep your shoulders down. Switch the other hand to the front. And again, arms by your ears, stretch it up and lean to the opposite side. Reach out through your head and hands, down into your foot, and lengthen through the ribs. Feel the spine doing its side stretch. And again, inhaling, come back up. Keep your shoulders down as you bring your arms out and back to your sides. Feel all that stretch through the spine and the sides. And then really stretch the spine apart for our twist. So remember, the bones need to be apart to be able to move better. So sitting bones down. Crown high, arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, just clasping your elbows this time. Again, arms by your ears, stretch that spine apart, and exhale to the side and twist. Take a breath, and as you exhale, come on over. So stay in the twist, keep the weight on both feet evenly, keep your arms next to your ears, and lift your sitting bones. Take a breath or two there. And when you're ready, stay weight on both feet as you come back up and lift your heart for an upper body back, but especially when you're in the twist, you want to be careful with your lower back. So heart high, elbows back, 
and just stretch. And then inhale to the top, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, lengthen that spine apart to twist for the other side. Another breath and exhale over. And as you deepen there, just take a few breaths, releasing and relaxing into your twist position, forward position. And again, slowly with the weight on both feet still, work your way up into that upper body for the back end, chest high, elbows back, and breathe. And again, take a moment to make sure that your lower back is okay. Inhale to the top, exhale around to the center. Arms up, shoulders down, extended neck. And just feel your body lengthen through the crown, through the fingertips, sinking evenly into your feet. And then pivot at your hips, come on forward, and stretch with that spine parallel to the floor. Lengthen a little bit more and then drop into right down, just head. Sitting bones up for that stretch on the back of your legs. Deep breath. Pull in a little deeper if you want a little extra stretch with those hands behind your legs. And then again, hands dropping to the front and slowly winding back up, shoulders back and down, coming back into mountain pose. And just lengthen through your spine. And uh, let's step wide. So toes straight ahead, knees and toes, hips open, shoulders open, so you're all facing forward with your whole body. Take a moment just to sink evenly, evenly into your feet. We'll do a pyramid, we haven't done that in a while. So we're gonna move the feet first. So as you do, we're gonna turn the whole body with your feet. So turn the one foot 90 degrees and pull the back hip forward and the front hip back, get those toes angled forward on that back leg so that your knee and toes are going the same direction. And then just keep pivoting around till you're facing with the whole body facing that front foot. Take your hands and either clasp them across your lower back or reverse prayer with the fingertips up between your shoulder blades and the heels of the palms pressing toward each other. And then we're gonna pivot at the hip joint at the top of your thighs. So just come leading with your chest toward the foot. And get about parallel to the floor. Sitting bones going back evenly. So keep pulling that back hip forward and the front hip back. And just get as straight with the spine as you can. Spread your toes. Make sure you're not gripping. Keep those kneecaps toward your thighs and the front of your thighs tight so those backs of your legs can get a good stretch. Take a breath, lift the sitting bones maybe a little higher. As you come as far forward, parallel to the floor as you can. And then pivot back up as you breathe in. Release your arms. Turn your feet and body to the front. Take a moment, just feeling a little bit more stimulation through your whole body. And of course, know that we need to balance it and, yeah, go the other way. So again, start with your toes straight ahead, hips open. And again, we're turning the feet, so the 90 degree foot, so that the outside of your toes are parallel to the side of your mat. The other foot angles slightly forward, so the knee and toes keep going the same direction, and you're pivoting your whole body toward that front foot. So front hip back, back hip forward, get as aligned as you can get. And then either clasp your forearms or again, prayer position behind your shoulder. Pivot at that hip joint, push the sitting bone slightly back as you lead with your chest into that pivot. So just again, come as deeply as your body wants, get everything nice and straight. So remember, you're not looking really forward, you're looking down towards your toes. So the back of your neck stretches as well as the rest of your spine. Sitting bones are back, the back hip coming forward and the front hip coming back. And the body just parallel-ish toward the floor. Again, deepen as much or as little as you want. Straighten those legs as much as you can. 
Take a breath, stretch it out. And then on your next inhalation, pivot back to the top. Turn your feet, or release your arms and turn your feet to the front. Shoulders back and down, and take a moment there getting things realigned as your hips and toes go toward the front. Take a moment and breathe. Feel that core doing a little work today. And let's do our triangle, getting the sides all involved as well. So same motions with your feet, but this time the body stays facing the direction you're facing as you start. Arms at shoulder level, stretch out, keep those shoulder blades down, ground high. Turn the one foot 90 degrees, but don't turn your hips. Heel back, toes forward on that back hip, but keep that back hip pulling back so your whole body is still facing the sides of your mat. Take a breath. We're going to use that indentation at the top of the thigh again for that pivot. So push to the front. Get as far as you can because the further you go here, the further you'll go down into the triangle. Both knees straight. So again, kneecaps towards your thighs, thighs tightening a little so the backs of your legs stay straight. Turn the palms the direction you're facing and pivot. Keep those arms right across from each other. You can stop wherever you need to, or you can bring your hand all the way down toward your foot. Put the other one straight above it. Keep that back hip going back so everything stays open to the front, both shoulders open. Take a breath, stretch it out. Stretch your hip to the side and your sitting bones kind of the other way. Take a breath. And remember, no pressure on that hand that, that's down on your floor or foot. You don't need to go that far. Pivot back up, both arms staying right across from each other's shoulders, shoulder blades down, turn the palms toward the floor, turn the feet to the front, you're in star position, energize that out from your heart. And release your arms. So take a moment feeling what that did to your body, a little bit different from the pyramid. And of course, we're going to yeah, balance and go the other way. So once again, heels back by your back of your mat, toes forward, hips, shoulders open, core, of course, activated, supporting you through the spine. Arms at shoulder level, turn your feet, one foot 90 degrees. So get that outside of your toes, kind of parallel to the mat. Heel back, toes forward, but remember, don't pull that hip forward, keep it pushing back. And everything facing the front. And again, pivot at the hip joint, push it out. Push a little further. Keep pushing, keep those legs straight. Palms to the front. And again, everything pivots. So just coming into as deeply as you want with those arms straight across from each other, legs straight. Body facing the front toward the side, long side of your neck. Stretch it out through the arms, through the head, sitting bones pulling back. Take a breath. Just relax. Get your triangle and then pivot back slowly up, keeping those arms right across from each other, shoulders down. Turn the feet forward and the palms toward the floor in your star position. Stretch and energize, and release your arms. Keep your feet though where you are. We're gonna do one more triangle a little bit differently, a little more heart opening. So again, sink evenly into your feet, up through the crown. Keep your body again facing forward. Keep that core nice and activated so that whole spine is supported, arms at shoulder level. Move your feet 90 degrees with the first one and heel back, toes forward, but Hips pulling back with that back leg. Knees stay straight. Push again with that pivot. Reaching toward the side. Shoulder blades are where? Toward your waist. Palms to the front. Pivot into your triangle. So come as deeply as you'd like. And we're going to open the heart a little bit more. So we're going to bend that top elbow. Bring the hand back down toward your hip. And then rotate your chest a little bit more up toward the ceiling. So keep the shoulder, shoulder blades toward your waist. Keep that arm that's down, just kind of reaching toward the floor. Or if it's all the way down, that's okay, but don't put pressure in that hand. And then the arm that's up, 
You want to bring it behind your back so that that heart opens a little bit more through the shoulders, through the chest. Take a breath, head reaching to the side, hips back. And then return that arm straight above you, palm facing the front. And pivot, leading with it all the way back up, shoulders down, palms to the floor, feet to the front, back into your star position. And again, just release the arms for a moment, giving yourself a little break. Yes, yeah, one more time over toward the other side. Again, getting that heart open a little bit more. And so feet start, toes straight ahead, hips straight ahead, shoulders straight ahead. Everything just relaxing, arms at shoulder level, stretching out through the fingertips down with those shoulder blades. Move your feet 90 degrees with the first one, and then heel back, toes forward. Don't pull that hip forward, pull it back. Everything's still facing that long side of your neck. And once more, the pivot, pushing, pushing, pushing. The more you push, the further you'll get into that pivot. And palms to the front, rotating one hand down, the other one right across from it toward the ceiling. And again, coming as deeply into that triangle position as you want. And then for the heart opening, bend your upper elbow, put the hand down toward your hip, and then rotate your chest, going a little further up toward the ceiling, still stretching out through your neck, turning your whole body into that little twist as you're in that heart opener. Knees straight, don't forget, and spine stretching straight as well. Rotating the whole body, so that's a twist. Keep it stretching apart. And then bringing the hand back up, right across from the other one. Pivot back up, turn your palms toward the floor, make sure your shoulders are down, and your feet face front, coming into your stomach. Radiate out from the heart through all five points of your star. And on an exhalation, step into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment and breathe. Feel your spine, your hips, your shoulders, a little bit, everything more open today. Hands to your heart. We'll look at them and inhale, hands toward the ceiling. Look at your thumbs and come into that little back bend, pulling back, lifting your heart, looking out toward your thumbs. Stretch the back of your neck. Exhale, hands to your heart again. Pivot on over, drop into ragdoll. Take a moment there, just hanging. Lift your sitting bones, straighten your knees as much as they want. Hands up under your knees on your shins, stretch and straighten in that halfway up stretch. And then exhaling, bend your knees, come all the way down to the floor. Child's pose, hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead down. Just take a moment in your transition for us to stretch and connect, forehead toward the floor, or all the way down if that works for you. Take a breath, just relax it. And then inhaling, sit up, and slide off. Come into staff position to start with. Sitting bones behind you, feet pressing out, shoulders down, heart nice and open. Since we've been wide leg today, let's go into our wide leg position. So just bring the legs out to the sides as far as they want to go. Just a gentle stretch through that inner thigh, pressing up through the bottoms of your feet, kneecaps up, toes up. And then put your hands beside you, lift yourself a little bit and push the sitting bones slightly further back. And that'll kind of make it a little bit easier on your inner thighs maybe. So take a moment there and stretch up, bring your hands to your sides and out to shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Keep the shoulder blades low down, shoulders away from your ears. Stretch up through your head and your fingertips. Remember the core is active, supporting your spine. Exhale, hands down to your shoulders. Inhale and stretch. And exhale and release. Sink into your sitting bones, stretch up from them through the head and fingertips. As you exhale, turn to one leg, and again, exhale the hands down. 
stretch up and exhale. Keep pushing out through the bottoms of both feet, knees still up, toes up. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, pivot. Reach for that foot that you're facing. Just chest and chin toward that leg and hands to your leg or the floor or your foot. Take a moment, make sure those shoulders are relaxing. Stretch your head toward your toes, maybe deepen a little bit more, chest toward that leg. And then if you're, whichever leg you're turned toward, that elbow comes inside the knee and hold your ankle or your leg. And bring the other arm out to the side so you're facing that opposite foot. Palm toward the ceiling, bring it up, bring it over next to your ear, palm facing the floor as you reach for that toe in front of the arm. And go as far as you can. So reach your head and your fingertips toward the toes. If you don't reach it, that's okay. And the whole body is rotating, turning to the front or a little bit further toward the ceiling if you love a twist. So keep those bones stretching apart rotating as far as you want to go. Take a moment and breathe, keep it stretching out. And then the arm in the air, bring it back above your shoulder, pull yourself back up, reach your arms out to the sides and release. And as you get back into the center position, just take a moment feeling the difference on the sides of your body. So yeah, we got to balance it out. So once again, sitting bones behind you. So lift yourself, push those sitting bones back, push out through the bottoms of your feet, knees and toes up toward the ceiling. Hands at your sides, arms out at shoulder level, palms up and arms again above your shoulders. Keep the shoulders, shoulder blades toward your waist. Stretch your head and fingertips up. Exhale, release the hands to your shoulders. Just sink down into the sitting bones. Inhale and stretch. Exhale and release. Inhale and stretch. Exhale and release. Turn toward that foot. Inhale and stretch as you turn toward that other foot. Exhale and down. Inhale, way up. And again, chest and chin lead as you reach for that foot. And keep those knees as straight as you can, kneecaps toward your thighs, thighs tightening, so those hamstrings get a good stretch, feet pressing out. Take a moment and breathe, chest coming toward that leg. And again, reach those hands toward your foot, or your leg, or the floor, and the top of your head toward your toes. Take a breath, maybe pivot a little deeper. And then with leg you're turning toward, bring that elbow inside the knee, hold your ankle, bring the other arm out to the side. Take a moment and straighten things out, bring that arm up, palm toward the ceiling, reaching over, arm next to your ear, palm down toward your toes as it comes across. And again, deepen as much as your body would like, coming into that little twist. Take a moment and breathe, letting that chest open to the front or maybe a little bit further toward the ceiling if you like that twist. Keep pressing out through the bottoms of your feet. Keep the legs as straight as you can. Keep the spine as stretched open as you can, head reaching toward your toes. Take a breath. Just relax into it. Lengthen, breathe. Maximize for your body. And then the arm in the air, bring it back up above your shoulder. Use it to pull your body back up. Reach that other arm out, palms toward the floor, shoulders down, and release the hands. Take a moment as you get back into your position and relax. Bend your knees, bring the feet in toward each other into butterfly position, and pull those heels in near you. Let the knees come down in the direction of the floor as much as they want to today. Take a moment, again, lengthening up through your spine. Bring your hands behind you, fingertips down toward the floor or palms down if that works for you, but keep the shoulders, shoulder blades down towards your waist. And just a little pressure into those hands or fingertips and see if that inner thigh releases a little bit more with the knees down toward the floor. Take a moment and breathe. Lift your heart a little higher. 
everything nice and open as you relax. And then release the hands back to the center, lift your knees, stand your legs out into staff position. Take a moment, shoulders and shoulder blades down. We're gonna bring the feet to the end of the mat. We're rotating our staff position that direction. Activate your core and we're gonna roll all the way onto our backs. And as we get all the way down, just take a moment, recline integration. I hope my friends won't mind my foot coming in their direction for our twist today. So bring your arms out to T position. Shoulders and shoulder blades down into the floor, palms up. And we're going to, let's just do our bent knee twist. So sitting bones toward your heels and bend your knees, draw your heels in near your hips, feet flat on the floor. And keep your hands palms up or turn them palms down, whichever stabilizes your shoulders more. Press the back down to the floor, sitting down slightly toward your heels. Lift your feet off the floor, knees right above your hips. Cross your leg over if you want a little extra hip work, low back work in the twist, or keep them next to each other if you want a nice gentle twist today. And bring the knees over toward one side and your head toward the opposite side. So take a moment to breathe, shoulders down, and just allow your whole body to deepen into your twist as far as it wants to go. So the more your knees come toward the floor, remember that's your lower back, be gentle if you need to. The more your head turns, that's your neck, that's your neck twist, let it be a releasing but not overdoing, and keep your shoulders down for that middle back twist. Take a breath. Just let your whole body sink into that surface beneath you and relax. And then heels toward your hips, roll over onto your back, and bring your feet to the floor if you'd like to. If you were crossing your leg, uncross, and it's good to go the other way. So feet up off the floor, knees above your hips, cross the leg if you want to on this side, and draw your knees to one side. As you turn your head toward the opposite, keeping those shoulders down on the floor. Take a breath as you get into your twist as deeply as you'd like, and maybe exhale going a little further. So remember, you don't ever need to get those knees all the way down. You don't ever need to get your head fully turned. It's always personal practice, whatever's right for your body. Deep breaths, just relaxing, allowing the twist to happen, not forcing it. Just let those knees come as far as they want, head turning as much as it wants. And just keep those shoulders down for that whole middle back to be twisted. Deep breath. Exhale into it. And then heels slightly toward your hips as you roll again onto your back. Straighten things out, bring your feet to the floor. Slide your legs out, bring your hands near your hips, palms up, into corpse position for our final relaxation. So shoulders and shoulder blades toward the floor. Exhale tension, let your belly soften. Lots of spine work today, so just allow your body to release and relax. Shoulders down to the feet. And allow your body just to grow heavy, sinking deep into that surface beneath you. Rotate your toes slightly toward each other, and then just let them relax as well. Whole leg and lower body releasing. Hands, palms up at your side, keeping those shoulders relaxed. Bring your chin and jaw around, soften your face. Just allow your whole body to release any tension. Let it grow heavy, deeper into that surface beneath you. As your body relaxes, just let awareness of your body go. As you release those thoughts, other thoughts will come to your mind. Know that it's the job of your mind keep producing thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. 
At this moment, there's no need to think of the past or anticipate the future. No need to be aware of your body or the content of any other thoughts. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. Allow the thoughts to release and your body to relax. Allow your focus to turn inward and just find that peace within. Fill your body with peace. Fill your mind with peace. Just take a few moments being at peace. If you have extra time today for your relaxation, just keep relaxing and releasing as long as you'd like. It's time to reactivate for the rest of your day. Just been drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. As you begin breathing more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however it feels good for you. Circling the ankles, maybe the wrists, releasing the shoulders. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, you have a good long stretch, sitting bones toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, knees toward your heart, wrap your arms around, let your body know you appreciate its work in yoga today and every day. All the work your body does for you every day. Just give yourself that appreciative hug however it feels right for you. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, rolling over to the side, push into your hand to sit back up and get ready for whatever's ahead for your day. Thanks for joining me.